Hi folks, this is Calc 3, Checkpoint Quiz 6. Number one, we're asked to state the epsilon delta definition of limit. So what's it mean, a limit of two variables? So, uh, this means given epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta greater than zero, so that if zero is less than the square root of x minus x naught squared plus y minus y naught squared is less than delta, then the absolute value f of x y minus l is less than epsilon. Now once again you can memorize this word for word on a note card or something where you can remember that this is the same concept of limit we had in Calc 1. In order to claim that the limit of the function is equal to L, we have to guarantee that we can get the function values as close as we need to to L by getting the point xy close enough to the point x naught y naught. And so notice we have just absolute values down here. How close do you want me to get f of x to L? How close? You want me to get within epsilon units, some arbitrary epsilon error. So in order to guarantee all the function values are within epsilon units of L, we have to come up with the delta and get the point x naught y naught to within delta units of, excuse me, to get the points <clears throat> so that when the point x y is within delta units of x naught y naught, this, this guarantee holds true. And so remember what this was, is this was the distance formula we had for points in the plane. So in other words, we can get the function values as close as we like to epsilon by getting the points x, y close enough to x naught, y naught. So you can either remember this word for word, or you can remember the concept and then just fill it in as you go. The choice is yours. Now we'll move on to number two. State what it means for a function to be continuous at x naught y naught. So what's that mean? Well, it means the same thing it did in Calc 1. It means that the limit, as the points x, y get close to x naught y naught, of the function f of x, y, actually equals the function at x naught y naught. So actually plugging in the point x naught y naught is the algebra concept of what's happening actually at the point. The limit as x y gets close to x naught y naught is the calculus concept, what's happening near the point. So continuity is what bridges the gap between pre-calculus and calculus. You get at the point exactly what you expect to get at the point. And so that'll do it for number two. Number three, we're asked to state the limit definition of the partial derivative with respect to y of a function of two variables x and y. And so that's the limit as delta y goes to zero, f of x comma y plus delta y minus f of x y over delta y, provided this limit exists. Now once again, you can memorize this on a, on a note card, or you can remember this is the same concept of derivative we had in Calc 1. The partial derivative of f with respect to y is the instantaneous rate of change of the function with respect to y. So I have a function of two variables. I'm only looking at the rate of change with respect to y. So I keep the x constant. The x isn't changing. How is the y changing? The y is changing. I'm going from y to y plus delta y, so the top represents the change in f. So to look at the rate of change of f with respect to y, I take the rate of change, the change in f, divided by the change in y. I take the limit as delta y goes to zero. It's the same concept of derivative we had in Calc 1. So once again, the more you understand, the less you really have to memorize. 